Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian Kalemba and I'm the game director of The Witcher 4, our new game. And this is our official breakdown for the very first cinematic trailer of the game. So let's dive right into the trailer. The first sequence sets up the stage. Dearest daughter, I've watched you grow from a devilishly curious child. We have two characters. They are preparing for something. One character is preparing for some kind of a ritual, tradition, clearly a celebration. But the second character is purely preparing for the battle, for the encounter. Two different characters, preparation, but a different set of tools. It looks like a wedding, maybe, but as you see, it's not festive at all, right? People are not laughing, people are not happy. This is Stromford. This village is totally isolated place up north. And you know, the world of the Witcher is full of folk, full of grim, the darkness, monsters. The way they deal with monsters for ages is sacrificing their people. Here we reveal this young girl, her name is Mioni. She tends to be sacrificed by her father, by the villagers. That's why this moment is so emotional. These people are kind of saying goodbye to someone that they know from that young. Okay, so now these characters join. Their paths are going to cross in a second. You have two swords on her back, the silver for monsters and the steel for humans. You have idea for sure that this is a witcher. A witcher? Witcher, whose coin did you take? Nay, nay, you can't. Tis tradition. Chosen she is by the gods. No! You chose her. Okay, you have no idea how long we've been waiting for this moment. I mean, the entire team that invests so much passion into this project in recent years. We've been waiting for years to be able to finally show Siri as the main protagonist of the game. Ciri is one of these characters that, you know, the sentence that if there is less evil, less evil, I'd rather to not choose at all. Ciri will always choose. When it comes to the happiness, the moments that she was really happy about her life, it was in Kyra Marfa, among the other witchers. For good and for bad, she wants to become a witcher. In the word become, there is a journey. And I want people to experience this journey. As soon as we entered the woods, we decided to change the cinematography of, of this part that, in that moment. Uh, we wanted to make it more magical, more atmospheric. Uh, we wanted to make you sense, smell the evil that is living in this cave. And maybe you can question why Ciri was uh, actually waiting for this moment. She is a professional monster hunter. And she knows that using Mioni in that case was actually her advantage. She was, by pushing Mioni into the woods and letting her sing the song that calls the evil, she's also at the same time luring the evil. So there's this moment when she stops exactly when she knows that the evil woke up. That's the moment when Run. Chiri pushes Mioni back to the village. Run! As soon as the fog appears, Chiri knows that there's a point of no return. Chiri enters the heart of darkness. She hears these noises, the voices, some kind of a hallucinations. She's a bit puzzled, yeah? You see, like, she's not able to spot the monster. This is the way how this creature fights. It tries to play with your fears. There's the moment of the opportunity that Ciri drinks a potion. This potion, it's not a regular potion. It's a poison witchers are capable to prepare. And she's becoming deadly focused here. There's no voices again, no fears. And this is the moment when she spots him. And this is the moment when the real duel starts. Once 
finally we are revealing Bauk, the monster. Very powerful creature in this world. And as you see, also we are showcasing something special about Siri. Siri is a powerful source. She can drain the energy out of the elements in this world and catalyze it into the very powerful spell. And, and that way, she built another opportunity window. To be able to chop his limbs. And finally, uses one of his utility tools, chain, we're presenting here. And we are also referring the very first trailer that we, we showcased years ago, the Witcher 1, a uh, girl fighting with Striga, who will have the chain. More than that, Ciri is able to chant this chain. And that's why there's this fire spell on top of it, which makes this chain even stronger. <laughs> and this is another tough lesson in this grim world. She wasn't able to save Miani because some people are incapable of change. Bauk won because they let themselves being still driven by the fear. She knows for sure that they'll get this at some point because the fog will never get back. They will probably remember her, the silver hair girl who saved them. And there's going to be a moment of change, but the time needs to come. It's all we wanted. We're ready to go to the woods. To go to the gods. Gods? There are no gods here. There are only monsters. This world is dark, is grim. But there is a light. There is this warmth. There is this hope in the end. In this case, Mjolnir got killed by her people. Uh, but as you know, our games, their choices and consequences, there is going to be a way to save her. And this is the hope that the Witcher world brings uh, also. This, that, that actually gives you this contrast between Grimm and hope. And this is what I love in this world. <laughs>